Rizzo's with Mello. Let me tell y'all, we have some local talent in St. Lucie County. I'm going to let him introduce himself. I'm going to let him tell you exactly what he's about. Y'all need to get on board. Is that have Mello? My name is Richard Fitzpatrick. My goal is to bring the film and television industry locally to our area. We have a lot of talented artists, a lot of talented actors, actors. We have people that aspire to be directors. I mean, and why not? This is the time, this is the place, this is an open canvas, and we need to start painting. Because I gotta tell you, what we're doing right now is gonna be lit. So, Tal, do you want to tell them what we're doing right now? Sure. Just a little bit? Sure. Just a little bit of a secret? Okay. Um, well, for, uh, let me start at the beginning. We entered into a 11-year uh, first look deal with uh, Ray Murphy Jr. and his company, Murphy Media Distribution. Um, for those of you who may not recognize the name, that's Eddie Murphy's first cousin and the producer of several of his projects. So we have 11 years to create content and bring it to market. We wanted to start with Fort Pierce, Fort St. Lucie, Stewart, the whole Treasure Coast, and bring some of that talent, help some of that tra that talent transition into this industry without the difficulties that you would face having to go to LA or Georgia or relocate. We can do it right here, but we have to do it together. So our first show is entitled Lawless. It's one, one of many series that we look to produce here. The second of which is called Alphabet City. Aptly named for the city, Fort Pierce. Um, you guys gotta stay tuned and you better get on board because we're, we're just getting started. So if someone was interested in becoming an actor or a, um, just, you know, in, a, in the field, how would they get a hold of you? Well, they can reach us through uh, the originaltalentpool.com. So you go to the originaltalentpool.com, you fill out your information, it's uploaded to us directly, tell us where your interests lie, and then someone will contact you, we'll get together with you, and we'll make it happen. If you're serious about it, we'll make it happen. Do you offer internships or anything like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. So if there's any high school kids or anybody that's interested into this um, career and you kind of like are not 100% sure what it requires, what it requires as far as like, like we were talking behind the scenes that a lot of people want it, but they're not hungry for it. Yes. They, they don't want to put in that work. They don't want to hustle. So it's a lot more than just carrying this heavy ass camera around as you see. It's being out here in the rain, yes. carving the material, yes. having your family with you, having your employees with you. It's a lot of work. So if you're really interested, you want to do this internship and you want to really get your feet wet to see if this is something you want to do, holla at Nello. Like, he's doing great things. And like, I just saw James getting flung across the board. You know, I wish they could do it more often. But I will be taking some shots of that happening. So what got you into this field? What, why did you want to do this? I've always had a love for the performing arts um, and I mean realistically it's the only th it's the closest we get to being to living forever you know, when you can build a legacy that's based on your voice on your stories that's what that's what gives and builds that living legacy we also have uh, a film currently on Tubi TV that was filmed right here locally it I mean, there are there are a ton of local actors and actresses in it, and it's based on Zora Neale Hurston, who is buried right here. That is currently being streamed on Tubi TV, and it's the first deal that was brought to the table by our agreement with Murphy Media Distribution. So we're not out here just for us. We're out here for us. Yeah, so we talked about doing some things together with the local teens and the, uh, the local youth in the city, especially the inner city. You got a lot of kids that have a lot of talent. They want to be directors, they want to be producers, they want to, you know, drop beats. So I'm so blessed to have met you, and we're going to do some awesome things. Um, we'll come back. Do you have anything, any words of wisdom that you'd like to give to anybody out here? Hey, if you believe in what you do, do it to the fullest. Don't let nobody talk you out of what you believe in your heart is your purpose and your passion. You know, we talk ourselves out of things. So, All so the time. And we like let our mindset sometimes kind of bring us down. Like, I can't do it. I'm not able to do this. Or, you know, because Bella's doing it, I can't do it because he's already doing it. But like, you know, you see 
when you go into the supermarket, this is a whole bunch of different friends. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, whoever's gonna go with you, they're gonna go with you. But we can still help and support one another. Absolutely. So stay tuned. We have a lot more here at Rizzo. It's on and popping. And we'll be back. I'll post that catch a clip of Jen and his ass. Coming soon. Coming soon. Bye. And that's the other thing about me, you know, I give everybody the opportunity. If I see you, know, you have that drive, you have that potential, and you want to elevate yourself and, you know, go further in life, I give you the opportunity. There's nothing to it, you know. And that's the thing, like, you said something that's important, that, like, you got rejected. And a lot of times, when we get rejected, we get scared, we stop going, and we start doubting our capabilities. But the fact, like, you know, Melo said, you chase, like, you chase his ass down. Yeah. Like, you wasn't taking no for an answer. No. And then you got in a position where you reached back and brought somebody else on. And if a lot of us would do that and leave that crab barrel mentality, yeah. we could accomplish and take over so much in the game. But they don't have, like we talk behind the scenes, they're not hungry for it. And that's the crazy thing, yo. When you guys see lawless, there's a lot of people who won't recognize it or know what it is. But I brought just about half the cast on board. But, you know, not bragging right or anything. That's just who I am, the type of person I am. And you come to me like, because uh, when you do the audition or whatever, or fill out, you know, um, the original talent movie, I'm going to be the one that reach out to you. I'm going to be the one that talks to you. Because I got, I got to see where you at, you know, not, you know, where your head at and everything like that. You know, if I see you Nine times out of ten, yo, guess what? <laughs> you already there, half lit. And the most important thing is just number one rule. You show up. You show up. And it's important when you, especially when you go for auditions. Like, you know, I hate to say it, but sometimes we may not dress the part. Sometimes we, you know, become late. And at times, because let's say I know you, like I just met you guys, right? And I said, I put in my tape to go and apply, right? And I come in whenever the hell I want to because, oh, that's my people. Have y'all experienced that? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And we had to tell them, like everybody else is doing. Uh, you do the same way too. And how they take it? They get a little feelings, but you gotta tell them the truth. You gotta be formal when you do this type of business. Yeah, if you really mean it, if you really want it, sure. Like I said, number one, commitment. Number two, you know what I'm saying? Stay committed. Show and love and get already there. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, you guys are able to separate, like, since you guys are so open and honest, how do you guys separate the business and the you want butt heads, because everybody has different styles and stuff like that. But how do you guys overcome it and still come back and do the vision that you guys have for the business? Okay, uh, <laughs> the thing about me and Melo, uh, we're not we're not related, but 
and when people see us, they think we're father and son. So we accepted it, and that's what we are, father and son. As, there's times, yes, I bump head with them, but at the end of the day, it's a bigger picture and bigger goal where we're trying to reach so then we just come back and like, yo, you know, we talk about it, you know, you ain't got to be in front of everybody, you can just pull us to the side and like, yo, I ain't like that, or, you know, what can we do better and then, and then get back to it. And that's important, that's key, like when you do business with family, friends, is that if there's a situation, you deal with that on the back end. You don't play that person out. Business is exactly, and I wish like, I think there needs to be a school or a class on entrepreneurship and how to run a business, especially amongst us. Like how to answer your calls, how to have stuff on your website, and how to like, you know, and don't waste people's time. Like if somebody said, okay, I want to come like this, I want to come audition. And then you set the time aside, and then I don't show up, no call, no show. I don't waste the time, it's money. Like he could be doing other things with his family or, or doing other projects, and I wish you would just understand that. And if you commit to something, commit to it. Commit to it. Yeah. If you say that's your word, you're going to do something, then do it. Too many people oftentimes say, I'm going to do something, and at the last minute, they don't do anything. And it's like, no, I should have got somebody else. I should have been doing something else. I should have been doing something else. You know that once you spot, they hungry for it, and you know by you just having that opportunity, you wasting it. And just, just, just a bit, you're not gonna get a call no more. That's just what it is. And what's your name? Feeling. Is I here in the street like that? It's a wrap. Okay, you can tell we all smoke long <laughs> acts that too, right? Yeah. Rest in peace to pop smoke gone too soon. Like, that's another thing. Like, all these kids that's out here in the rap game, stop bossing, stop putting your address, stop putting your location when you act. That's how you got hurt. Just my place and location. Like, if I travel, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs>